Alright, we're playing, uh... We're playing Gate 88. Are you ready for this? So, Gate 88... Gate 88... Gate 88... Gate 88... The 88th Gate. It's one of my favorite games ever. It's made by Jonathan Mack, who used to or still runs Queasy Games. They made Sound Shapes. They made Everyday Shooter. Is you know... I don't know what else, but this is the first game that I ever played by Jonathan Mack, and maybe the first game that he released publicly. Not enti entirely sure, but it's brilliant, and I wanted to show it to you. I'm just going to do one session. I'm going to show you a practice run, which is actually really basically a tower defense sort of tower offense. I don't know. Sort of like a, a real-time strategy plus tower defense. It's really hard to explain anything in this. So, But uh, we'll see how well I do. It's in practice. We're on medium difficulty. And uh, yeah, we'll just let's just start. And you can see how it plays rather than me trying to describe this weird, crazy shit to you. So this is gate 88. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. So how does this work? General power generator. There we go. That's not what I. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a factory. So gate 88 is in general is basically ah, crap. a real time strategy game. As you can see, it's also sort of a space shooter. I mean, in the vein of asteroids, of all things. Uh, ah, crap. See? There they are. Here they come. So, um, it's also a sort of a space shootery game, and it's really just... I've never played anything like it. Um, like I said, one of my favorite games of all time, and then hopefully soon you'll see why. Ah, uh, not enough resources. So I've run out of resources already. Um, so... Let's give you a little bit of a rundown. What I'm doing is building factories. These factories produce resources from thin air. Um, I'm actually trying to reach the limit of factories because that's how I roll. We're on medium, we don't need to worry too much about it. So, um, as you can see, my resources are at the bottom there, uh, gaining slowly. I have 46, and I need 25 to build one of these. The way that I'm getting to these menus is the handy dandy Xbox controller. Whoa! Fuck! Uh, I would like to point out, this game was made in 2005, and yet somehow is still perfectly aligned for the Xbox 360 controller out of the box, barring that it does not have the option to sell buildings, which I had to do myself. Other than that, it's perfect. You can download it, you can run it on a Windows 8 machine, which is what I did, and you can play it using the controller. All right, I've reached the limits, so and now I can start building things like turrets and eventually building units as well. So when I hold my mouse, the, my mouse, the Y button here, it brings up these menus. These menus were meant to be uh, used with a controller. It's the only RTS I've seen, real-time strategy game, I've seen that so deftly uses the controller. Most of the time it's sort of awkward, like Command & Conquer 3 I remember playing a lot of, and you, I don't know, it didn't use the controller very well. This one instead uses a little little trick of, of, of the way that your brain works. And instead of saying, like, all right, we've got all these difficult menus to navigate, it has, it basically runs on muscle memory. So if I want to build a power plant, it's right, up, right. And so now I build a power generator. Now I know how to do that. And instead of learning it based on, uh, like, memorization, it's actually sort of experience. It's like, it's like riding a bike, you don't forget it. Um, so, what I'm doing right now is building some turrets to defend the base. And what I want to do, eventually, actually now, is go and fight these guys. They have their own base. I need to blow it up. If I don't blow it up, there's going to be another base in 10 seconds. And they're both going to come at me and kill me, basically. So, their bases are very basic at first and grow to be much more complex, as you'll soon see. Yep, great. Oh, they built right next to each other, which is... Oh! It's really lucky for me because all of my turrets are on that side. So, okay, I didn't get any bonuses because I didn't get them fast. That's what I get from talking so much. Alright, so here are the basics. I'm producing... Oh my god, my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Um, I'm producing resources with the factories. Then I'm using those resources to build turrets and more power and things like that. And what I'm going to do now is start building some... I need to get a little more power. And then... Uh, another turret, just in case. So, now we're going to build... Actually, we already built a factory. Or a, uh, a research center. I'm going to build another one, a research lab. Uh, these are really important, and they will be very important soon. But let's... 
I want to make sure I don't get blown up while I'm researching stuff. Nope, nope. And this is the problem. So, missile turret, right, left, right. I gotta remember that, and then it's really easy to build them. Bam, they build right in front of your ship. Um, bam, bam, bam. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't kill me, man. Let's research some heavy materials there. Okay, so what I just did right before I died was I started research on heavy materials. Research takes two resources. It takes time, and it takes money, your resources. Um, so as you can see, the more, f the, the more research things I have, the faster my research gets done. Perfect. Okay, so let's build another. Let's let's get a perimeter of turrets because otherwise, the next time an enemy comes, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Um, it's not gonna matter how many times I get there. So power generator. The power is needed when I when I hold this button. You can see the blue circles. That's where power is. Nothing runs without power. You don't get resources from factories. You don't get. Turret bullets from turrets. Uh, everything is screwed when the power runs out. Your your standard base uh, produces power, but you need to extend that using these power generators. Um, so yes, much like the, I think the Protoss had to do that in in StarCraft, you had to build these sort of power generator things. Um, it's the same idea. So we're just doing that right now. Just making sure I have at least somewhat of a perimeter. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I got a minute before I have to go kill those guys, and I'm gonna have two enemies on my hands. So let's go do that right now. Now, I'm not the only ship that I can get. I actually let's do a little bit more research. Gun pods, yeah, those are really important later, as you'll see. Um, but soon I can actually get an army of my own. Um, and they are, they're not, they're not real strong, but they're useful mostly as, uh, bullet shields, <laughs> meat shields, if you will, um, metal shields, and, uh, okay. I'm not doing very well right now. If I have two enemies on my hands, I'm gonna be having a hard time of it. Um, but, hopefully I'll have a weapon pod soon, and that'll make all the difference. So... I need to destroy that main base. Each base that comes around, each time a new enemy comes around, uh, these bases get stronger. Like, we're talking exponentially, so it's not, a, it's not a small difference. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. So when you die, you respawn in about five seconds, but that's sometimes as much as it takes to get totally rich. Uh, oh, God, I'm doing so poorly. Oh lord, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna die. That's just the end of the story. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Kill these guys. These guys are bombers. They do, uh, much more damage than your standard little, uh, little fellas. But they shoot less quickly, so they're not as good like fighter pilots. They are bombers. So they're more base versus base sort of thing. I need to kill this guy like yesterday. Come on! Oh god! Come on! Yes! We got him! Alright, let's go home. When you kill them, all of their uh, other stuff blows up as well. Um, okay. Am I still doing research? God, it takes forever sometimes. So, what I need to start doing now, and I need. I'm gonna do something a little weird here. I'm not gonna build it next to my base. I'm gonna build like a little uh, uh, ship factory. Oh god. Okay, I got my new weapon pot. Great. Fantastic. I need some more missile turrets. Okay, and then we're gonna research. We're gonna research another configuration for my ship. This ship is a bit of a transformer in terms of, uh... Okay. In terms of the way that you can fire bullets. So, I'll show you that as well. But let's get... Let's get some fighters. These guys are really useful in terms of, uh... Gotta have a lot of money. There we go. Now I don't. And then let's just, just in case, we're gonna build a few more turrets around here so that they can defend themselves when I'm not paying attention, which is more often than not. So, uh, oh. Now see, okay, I don't know if you noticed, but now I have three bullets instead of the one. I've researched two weapons pods. These are very useful. You're doing triple the damage at this point. Um, 
And your ship is absolutely the most powerful ship on the battlefield. You are a juggernaut. Uh, you're fast, you're strong, and basically you're the reason that, that you can beat these guys. Um, let's build some more research labs. I'm not out of patience. I think I also lost uh, some factories, didn't I? Okay, I gotta rebuild those because resources are very important in this early game. Okay. So, uh, we got a minute and 12 seconds. The heavy is ready. Now, the heavy fires less frequently, but it does a lot more damage to buildings. Um, see? Oh, yeah. This is satisfying. Oh, God, I died. Now, in the lower left, there are two meters, and they're overlaid on top of each other. The green is my health. The red is how much energy I have for bullets, basically. Um, so the more I fire, the more the red goes down, and the more I get shot, the more the green goes down. Um, okay. Let's see how many ships we've got. We've got 11. So they can serve as a nice distraction. I'm going to try and kill this guy without them, just because they take a while to respawn. Okay, well, maybe I won't. <laughs> this isn't going so well. This is not high-level play right here. Gate 88 is not an easy game for me, <laughs> especially when I'm talking my ass off. Um, okay, here we go. Come on. Here we go. Let's research some energy, because I'm going to need it. Okay, we're researching that. So it takes... Oh, God. I just set my... Oh, fuck. New enemies here. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed, guys. Oh, no. Okay. I got to defend my base. They're my, they're my ships. I set them to scramble and basically panic them over to my base so that they're defending it. The new enemies on the left side, though, you can see the little red dot over there, which means I've got to defend on this side as well. They are doing a number on me. Oh, God. Come on, little fighters. Save my, save my ass. Okay, come on. Ah, Jesus. Okay. There we go. Oh, what? Just build the damn factory. All right. Um, we, we've got to kill. We've got to kill this guy. He's going to cause me no ends of trouble. So here's what I'm going to do. Ship orders down. All groups down. And then we're going to set the target. And then down, down left, we're going to attack the target. They're going to be my... Oh, great. They're going to die is what's going to happen. Because <laughs> I'm not there to defend. They're not very strong, like I said. Okay, that's fine. They're they're gonna defend. Okay, heavy. We're gonna blow this guy up right now. Oh god! Oh no! I haven't done. I am not doing really well right now. Usually, I would get to at least round six before I get to this. Oh god! I'm gonna die. Panic! Panic! I'm out of here. Nope, I'm dead. So. Oh god. Let's just play. Let's just stop talking, let's play. You can see how this works. Maybe. Come on! Yes! Oh. Okay. That's fine. We're doing okay. I got him. We're building more fighter bases, and I'm going to build a bomber base as well. Bombers are my version of their bombers. They do more damage to buildings. They're the heavies. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay. we got to take time to rebuild. Oh no, come on. This is part of the hardness of it, is the zero G ishness. Okay. Okay. Um, 
set target, attack. They're gonna kind of defend my base here. I need to do, whoa, hi there. Doing more research on heavy materials this time. Oh God. Okay, we're on the rebound here, I swear. Okay. Okay. Uh, set target, attack. We're moving them closer. Now they're attacking here. I'm gonna head back and use them as my cannon fodder. Okay, here we go. We're attacking the power first so that the turrets lose power. And I'm attacking the bases and then we're gonna get rid of these turrets so that I don't die. <laughs> That's the important part. Okay, see how good they are at like attracting fire? Okay, here we go. There are other strategies to attacking enemy bases. You can build right on top of them, basically, and cause all sorts of havoc that way. I prefer to go in with the heavy attacks. <laughs> I just brute force my way through it, but if you know me, you know that's how I do everything. God, my hair is terrible today. Oh, good, I died. I was worried so much about my hair, I died. Oh, no. Okay, we killed them before the next enemy. My next enemy is on the same side, so I have heavy, heavy killers here. So this is great. This is what we want. Okay. So I've got five minutes before the next enemy comes. It gives me time to reinforce my base uh, and do some research. So we're going to research a new weapons pod. And then I have a lot of money, so we're going to build some new advanced turrets. So these are exciter turrets. Exciter turrets are beasts. They surround a single ship. Oops. They surround a single ship with bullets, and then the bullets all collapse in on it. Um, they are terrifying in terms of uh, they just kill everything. They just kill everything in one shot, basically. So they're slow but powerful, and they don't need to aim. They can just they hit ships automatically, so there's no problem with ships being too fast. Uh, they're a great defense. They're actually a great offense as well. You can use them to kind of destroy bases because they have a little bit longer range. Um, so it's all good here. So we... Okay, we've got some... Whoa! Hello there. See that? I, I hope you're seeing these. They are killers. They're also fairly weak, so you got to defend them. That one out front is going to die because I didn't defend it well. It's not behind any missile turrets. So, yep, it's dead. That's okay. That's fine. There's only 50 bucks. Okay, more weapons pods, and then we're going to... We're going to go on full blast here. Oops. Okay, so I've got my heavy out. We're just waiting for the reinforcements. See, the, that's the targets for all three, red, green, and blue. They're all sitting there. There we go. Bombers are a little slower, so they show up second. Oh no, I died! Okay, okay, I gotta hurry back there. The only thing, literally possibly the only thing I would change about this game is the fact that you start in the center of your base. Ah, God. You have to plan around that, and I'm not good at planning. But there's no quick way to get out of it. So, okay, it's fine. This is fine. We're fine. Okay. With these later bases, you have to come in and do damage, like, over time. You have to come in, do a little bit of damage, and then leave, or die, really, is what I mean. Because otherwise, you're never going to make it. You can't just expect to make it on one full assault. For in so each... Whoa! Oh, no, it's fine. I lost all my fighters. Um, each base has the capacity for five ships. Each, like, uh, docking thing that you build has the capacity for exactly five ships, and they take forever to build. So, um... Ah, crap. Okay, I'm going to get them next time, and I'm going to wait until the last second. And I'll tell you why in a second. But each of those has five, so you can't... It's not like you can get a million ships. You're only going to be maxing out at, like, 50 total, even once you have maxed out on all your stuff. So you have to you have to chip away. you got to chip away. So let's build a few more bases. There we go. Oh, limit reach to bombers. 
There's the fire fighters. Let's see if I've reached that limit. Nope, not yet. Okay, good. Okay, we've cleared out, basically cleared out the latest invasion. So we're just gonna go ahead and attack. We're gonna also research the regeneration ability. Oh no, we're not, we're not on low on resources. All right, that's fine. I'll show you regeneration, you'll like that. Okay, we're going to heavy. We're gonna assault again, we're gonna take him out. So the reason that I'm waiting till the last second to do this is because as soon Instant. Oh, fuck. The instant that you kill them, the new uh, enemy appears. So you may have 55 seconds on the clock, but you've got, as soon as you kill them, the new enemy comes. So you have to time it right. Now, if you kill them early, you get resource bonuses. But resources aren't really that worthwhile. So the, the, the best thing to do is just, there we go. Let's get home. Let's get home, folks. Enemy is here. Um, oh shit, I think they're south of me. Yep, okay. I gotta set my uh, new targets there. But yeah, so I don't know what I, I don't know what the hell I was saying. I've lost my mind. Okay. Natural. Because natural is the best dog fight. Uh, it is intended purely for that reason. It is a terrible base assault. I'm in natural. Okay, now let's try another technique. I'm gonna show you something a little new here. So it's just directly south of me. And like I said, you can see that little red square. I've also got the radar here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get just out of range. And I'm gonna build a power generator. And we're gonna build an exciter. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to build an exciter. Oh, come on, Exciter. You're not doing your job. There we go. We'll see how well this works. If it destroys that power plant, then it's good. Come on. Oh, nope, it didn't work. This is a kind of a way for to, to stall everything, because if, if you can get an outpost... Um, if you can get an outpost, then it, it slows these ships down and it destroys a lot of them before they even get to your base. So it gives you a little bit of breathing. Um, and since, like I said, resources are pretty easy to come by, you can lose a lot of turrets and still be okay. Uh, so we've got four minutes till the next ones. Let's accelerate this process because I think right now we're doing okay. I don't have to worry too much about time. Oh, okay. Come on, Exciter. Ah, son of a monkey. There we go. Okay, I got this. So then, now I can do this. Watch. So we'll go build a power generator, and then right, left, left. The Exciter turrets will destroy all of these turrets. And, uh... And then it'll be a good amount of time before they can recover from from uh, this. Next time they... Oh, here are their ships. Let's see if it works. Next time they send their ships out, a lot of them are going to get destroyed before they get to the base. Ah, this isn't a great strategy. Let's just go, like... Let's just go kill <laughs> Alright, screw it. So I've got my... Let's show you the other forms. I've got my uh, regenerator. Uh, the regenerator is healing shield. This is nice. It's no, it's totally defensive. But what you can do is actually charge up your uh, your own ships. See how they have that little circular shield around some of them? It's hard to see. But you can charge them up so that they have better defenses before you rush in. So you can also repair your own ship. Here we go. All right, we're going for the kill here. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on, I got hit by a straight shot, now I'm dying. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Look at how stressed I am, you can tell by the state of my hair. <laughs> oh god, I'm stuck, all right. Here we go. 
I gotta research battery as well. I'm trying to re fully upgrade my ship. Oh god. I'm just going for the kill. I don't think we're gonna get it. Oh no! Oh god. Alright, that's fine. We're fine because we're well defended. So, I just gotta kill them before the minute and 33 seconds is up. Come on. How many ships do I have? I have 12 with a capacity. I have 10, 9, with a capacity of 40. So that's good. Ah, oh, son of a monkey. I'm getting my ass wrecked. So, okay, I'll show you how to. If I'm in regen, I'm holding B on the controller. I don't know what button it is on there, on the keyboard. But you can see my green is slowly going up and my red is sort of pulsating. It's because it's using all my energy to recharge my ship. Uh, recharge my shields, I guess. So. Attack! We gotta kill these guys now. Yesterday, really. Oh! I just found something new. Apparently when I'm at a full stop, I have like a killer shot on this thing. It's like a special thing. Whoa! Okay, that's new. Oh god, I timed this horribly. We're gonna kill this. We got him. 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 I just gotta get two more shots. Yes! Just barely. Just barely on time. Okay. Ten seconds left. Let's get home. Uh, regen. So, fast kill bonus four resources. One second. Okay. Here we are. So, uh, as you can see, this game is a lot about. Whoa! Not what I wanted to do. Do not heal the enemy ships. You can heal the enemy ships. This is just a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I was uh, adjusting something on my computer. So, uh, let's research mechanics a little bit. That's the speed of the ship. And then I'll, I'll research stealth and I'll show you stealth. I think stealth is totally pointless. I don't understand the point of it. But I think if you were playing against humans, which this game is clearly intended to be played against, um, it would be a different story. So, okay. And you can also play against like three or four different people at once, so it's a little bit of a different story there as well. Like I send all of my ships everywhere all the time. Like I don't, I don't split them into groups, but you can split them into three groups. Um, come on, attack! Get out of your bases. All right. Um, actually, let's do some mini turrets here. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god, I'm gonna die. It's okay, I'm doing a lot of damage though. Now, I don't know if you notice the way that this works. Every building has a little red circle or a green circle, and then a darker circle. That's how you can tell its health. The green circle in the center of this factory, for instance, is smaller than that factory, it has lower health. Ah, uh, there you go. You fighters, you are murdered. Love it. Okay. Whoa, you, you got way out here. What are you doing out here? Okay. We're gonna go for the kill here, see if we can make it. This game is not as hard as I always feel it is, but then this is a game where you're going to eventually lose. There's no end in sight for any of the, uh, for the rounds. It just keeps going. That is something that you should keep in mind as I play this. It looks, it may seem like it's really easy, but eventually I have to die. Oh, ah, yeah, you, you, you're dead. Oh, I'm dead too. That's fine. Now this one I killed real early. Let's see what I get for a time bonus. 20 seconds. I have 20 seconds until the next enemy appears. We're going to send all my ships home, what few there are left. Um, now, I also have a little mini train. You see that little triangle? That's a a uh, mini turret. It automatically fires on enemies. It's not very strong. So it's one of those I leave until last. Um, where are they? I can't see them. Oh, they're, okay, they're this way. 
There we go. Oh, God. No, no, no. Natural. There we go. Going into the dog fight. As you can see, this game is just total chaos. Like... Oh, God. It is, in my opinion, uh, the finest example of an action real-time strategy game ever. Like, screw sacrifice. Sacrifice is a beautiful game. Screw sacrifice. Ah, uh, oh, crap. There we go. I need some... I need some more... Uh, turrets. Screw Sacrifice, screw like... I mean, I don't understand League of Legends or Dota, but I feel like those are sort of action RTSs. Um, so maybe it's in this realm? I don't really know. I've never played a game that's, that's really like this. Like, it is a unique game in my opinion. So, um... And as far as the multiplayer is concerned, I'm so bad at it that I played one game and I lost horribly and I didn't know what to do with myself. So, I'm such a shy person. <laughs> um... This is this is hairy. This is this is starting to get real hairy as far as like you can see their bases all have like these five turret things and they're really kind of terrifying. You gotta like whoa. You gotta like really be good at this. And then the way that these bases are rebuilt, since they don't have like their own mothership or whatever you want to call this guy that I'm like, uh, they just send out orbs. I'm clipping badly, I'm sorry. They send out orbs from the main ship that rebuild. It takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds for something that I've destroyed to be rebuilt. Like, it's nuts how quickly they rebuild. Oh, my fighters are the wrong ones. They are up and stuff. Okay. And then... There we go. You can also build regen turrets that repair your own base. You, there's a couple of other things you can do that I'm not real good at. I'm not good enough at this game to really make, take advantage of some of it, so... Let's try this assault. Ooh, that hurt. It doesn't seem to be very effective, I'm gonna be honest. It seems like it's more effective to just... Oh god, go for the five that I'm using. Not good. Not good. Okay. Okay. So we're what we're going to do, I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to dock all of my ships. There they go. We're going to defend against this latest attack on our own. And then I'm going to send all my ships at once. Let's see how it goes. You kind of get a feeling for the rhythm of when they're going to attack. It's every so, so many amount of seconds, and I'm not sure how many. Um, but it has a very specific rhythm. I want to say it's about 45 seconds. So, you kind of get a feeling for the Okay, okay, it's fine. This is what I wanted. This is what I was looking for. Okay, I just gotta gotta defend myself here. These bombers are a nightmare. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Uh, set target, attack. I need to get them out of the ship bases. We're going for heavy. Attack. No, set target, attack. Oh, God. Regen. Here we go. I'm sending him in. Oh, God. Go, go, go. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Okay, we're going for it. Those are the orbs. You can see them popping out of the main ship. They're coming out to repair. It takes them so little time to repair. It's actually ludicrous. So you just have to go for the kill. You cannot try and destroy their base slowly. It just gets rebuilt. No time flat. As you can see, my little triangles are aiming at the nearest enemies. So There's not the home base. Oh god. This turret's gonna kill me! Oh god. Just kill him! Come on! Come on! Come on! I need to kill him! Yes! Yes! Ah! I got you! Okay, now all their ships have to get destroyed before they count as dead. So I could still die on this run. Oh god, okay. All right, all right, we're fine. We did good. Look at that. We got 12 seconds even. Okay, so let's regen. We gotta be. We gotta stay safe for this first attack. 
I think it's gonna be south. That's my guess. Nope, I was wrong. It's west. No, wait, that's east. Okay, natural. Is that target attack? I'm sending out my ships to defend. This is gonna be the one that kills me. I'm almost certain of it. Oh my god. They're everywhere. So, my favorite part about this game is the music. Uh, I think the music is some of the most brilliant I've heard ever. I have got to build more turrets to defend those that, those bases, otherwise I'm gonna lose all my ships. Already, uh, I haven't lost any yet. Okay. But oh god, we're getting real close. Panic! <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Oh, I've lost one. Ah, crap! Oh god! Come on, come on, come on! Thank you. Okay. Okay, we're at the limit. Building power. Oh god. This game has really good music. I didn't need that. Um, okay, now we're gonna build turrets. You can reach a limit of turrets as well, which is dangerous. I try not to overbuild, because when you reach that limit, like, yep, there we go, there's the limit. So we're gonna do some more exciter turrets. Um, okay. Come on. Oops, I keep messing up the commands. It's almost like a fighting game, the way that it feels. Okay, we've got exciter turrets everywhere. Oh god, they're here. Okay, gotta send my ships out. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of your little, little homes. Oh god, I'm screwed. I'm in defense mode. I'm in defense mode, which means I'm screwed. Once you get to that point where you can only have time to defend, uh, that's the end of the game, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing else you can do. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This is not good. Here we go, come on. Ah, okay. I mean, I killed the ships, I guess. Okay, they're all gone. You know what, we're just gonna go for the full-on assault, see what we can do. Oh, oops, I'm going the wrong direction. All right. I'm just skimming in. Yeah, 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 I see you. Shaking that ass. The only chance I have for survival is that I can just kill him. I will see how many we can just assault and kill, you know what I mean? Because uh, once they kill my base, that's game over. Um, once they destroy that inner sanctum, as it, if you will, um, that is the end of the game. No second chances in gate 88. There are other things you can do in this game. You can build jump gates so that you can get from point A to point B instantaneously. Um, a feature that I've never found useful, but is there. Um, oh god. There's a mass driver turret, of all things, that will push things backwards and just screw up their lines. I haven't found a good usage for that either. Um, this is all coming from a place of I'm not very good at this game, but it's beautiful. Look at this chaos. Look at the, the effects on the background. And just everything in this game is, is absolutely monstrously beautiful. <laughs> I'm playing on low effects because my computer couldn't handle recording and dancing at the same time. Let's see, let's see for the very end here if if it can handle some of the better effects. So, because I want you to see them. So, oh, I am on high. Oh, great. Well then, let's just. Uh, I want to show you the uh, city stacks or the city as well. You can change the background for seemingly no reason. I love it, and it looks like a city. Isn't that cool? The background changes color as you get closer and nearer to the enemy, which I think is nice. Nice touch. Um, and the music. The music is fantastic. Uh, the music is available in the game's files. You can just drop it on your phone and play it. Um, it. It's really, really good. The only downside to the music is it's really low quality. For whatever reason, he super compressed it into these AUG files, and they're, they're not... They're not good quality. Um, still, even on low quality, they sound perfect. I actually emailed him a long, long time ago. I emailed Jonathan Mack to see if I could get higher quality cuts of the music, and I never got a response. And that's fine. Um, 
got better things to do than answer some, at that point, like 16 year old's uh, queries. Well, actually, I think I'm saying. Uh, queries for your music for free, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah! Look at this. I got no health. I'm gonna die as soon as I. Even... Oh, God, get out of the way. This is just absolute chaos. These later stages are just completely chaotic, and I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I'll just let you enjoy the chaos for the rest of this video. I didn't expect this to go so long. I was expecting like a 15 minute video. So I was just like, well, we'll do it all in one. So uh, that clearly is, is very long. I'm sorry. But for the remainder of the video, just enjoy the sounds of Gate 88. Unless I feel like I need to cuss. This is one of my favorite songs.
I can't believe I just killed that guy. I should be dead by now. This is my other, uh, one of my favorite songs, by the way. It's called Overdub Theory. And I think it introduced me to the idea that noise is music too. As you'll hear, perhaps, over the cacophony of the rest of this game. And once again, I cannot more highly recommend this soundtrack. Let's just listen to the music in space. I just, I'm dead, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna find a new home. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye, everyone. Wow, look at all those fighters I'm killing with my turrets. <laughs> So there you go. That's Gate 88. Um, again, highly, highly recommended if you're a fan of action games, real-time strategy games, or this kind of music. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for sitting with me for these uh, 40 minutes or whatever it took to die. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day filled with less chaos than mine, unless you really want it. Goodbye.